Hi guys, welcome back to a new vlog. A really, really exciting vlog today and also one that I guess I wanted to film mainly for us to be able to also look back on this because this is gonna be probably one of those vlogs that I watch a lot, um, like for the future. It's kind of like my wedding vlog. I like to watch that now and again because obviously, as, as you know, this is such a moment for us picking up our puppy. We're gonna head off really, really soon in like half an hour. I've just been whizzing around, cleaning up any last little things on the floor and just making sure the place is looking really tidy and clean just because I just don't have missed anything and there'd be something on the floor that's, you know, a hazard in any, any way. So we've got the place so now looking pretty great. At this point, I guess I'm just feeling, I'm, I'm, the main thing I'm feeling is extreme excitement that we are finally bringing a dog into our lives for probably the next like 15 years or so. So obviously it's a huge, huge move for us. Uh, we don't have any babies yet, so this is like our, our first baby. So I'm extremely excited as someone who is the biggest dog lover and has always dreamed about having their own dog and Alex is the same. This so is a really really big deal for us but I guess I'm also anxious and nervous of like the journey ahead and especially the next month of probably like reduced sleep and worries about the dog and whether the dog's okay and but I'm just hoping the dog stays healthy and well and just enjoys the next 15 years of lots and lots of love. And I've even got like this big blanket ready so that when we get home, we can put him straight onto the couch and just have little like puppy cuddles. I've been watching lots of training videos this morning. I'm just hoping that we're prepped. Oh God, <laughs> I hope so. Yeah, we're just gonna bring you along for this journey to go and pick up our little baby. And then when we get home, we'll be able to kind of tell you all about him. So the day's finally arrived. Where are we off to? <laughs> Yeah, but it does. I kind of have that little like Christmas morning, Christmas, yeah, Christmas like, Eve vibe. Like, yeah, like Christmas Eve. This is a huge deal, though, isn't it? It's a huge deal. Yeah. So we've got quite a bit of a drive ahead of us, haven't we? Let's yeah. go get him. So we picked up some snacks, went to prep, we've got some sandwiches, and, yeah. and we got all the um, we got the crate in the back as well. Yeah, I picked that up from the PO box. Got all these little the toys and oh, is there the balls in there as well? The balls are in there, and there's like a Kong in there. Blanket. I can't remember now, there's loads of things that I've ordered. I get puppy cuddles all the way home. Oh, I'm so jealous. We'll update you in, a, in an hour or so. When, when we, we have get, him? When we have him, I guess, yeah. <laughs> a week before that. I'm really angry pizza. So, introducing the newest recruit to the In The Fro team. <laughs> Say hello to Bo. <laughs> Just been snoozing on the way home. He's just woken up. Look how tiny he is. So he's a miniature dachshund. Very snoozy one at the minute. But he's been great. Not really had any crying. He's not made a fuss. Not had any accidents just yet. He's been beautiful, isn't he? Just been super, super chill. So yeah, you'll be seeing a lot more of this little guy from now on. What are you doing, little baby? Oh, should we have cuddles? Oh, Come on, is that you? Is that you? Is that you? Aren't you just the most precious? You're so precious. Look how tiny he is. He's so tiny. He's so tiny. Oh, he's perfect. Is that good? Okay, everything has arrived from Lords and Labradors. This is so exciting. We've got these absolutely gorgeous bowls. The only issue is they're a little bit too big for Bo, but they're fantastic for when, obviously when he kind of grows up a little bit, they'll be great. So we'll have to get him some tiny little bowls for now. Um, we've got a little baby Kong, and we've got this, oh my gosh, that's so cute. I've got this Kong elephant. I'll link all this down below, by the way, guys. And then we just need to get into all of our crate and everything. Guys, look at him. <laughs> He's the most perfect little sausage. <laughs> He's trying oh, to fall off the sofa a lot. No. 
I don't know. <laughs> He's found the uh, thrower thing. Anything to chew on. Anything. We just tried to take him outside for a little wee. We did a lot of crying. Prematurely, and he, he did not like it, did he? He was, he was it's cold though and raining, and he wet on his little pawsies. It's, it's strange because the whole, the whole ride home he was a gem, wasn't he? Yeah. He no crying. No crying. Slept he made a few little whimpers, that was it. He pretty much just slept and was just sort of like, oh, and happy. But he's not weed yet, so we're like, why is he? He'll probably just wee on my, um, on this lovely, lovely, like, furry, <laughs> furriness. He's absolutely amazing. He's perfect. Aren't you just perfect? He's so precious. He's the most precious little one ever. Oh. <laughs> oh, I'm so happy. A little baby Bo. So we've just started Instagram for him. And it's just little Bo. Uh, B-O-E for Bo. B-O-E. Um, which apparently, I think it's like a Scandinavian and a French name that means handsome sweetheart. I was looking at Viking names. That's how I found it. Oh, really? I think that's how I came across perfect. it. Perfect. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's why then. Yeah, he's just, he's absolutely perfect. His little harness that Josie got him. Oh, oh my God. Died when we put it on him. <laughs> He's the most handsome little thing because it's so big on him. I wonder if it's a tiny one that or a small one. No, he'll grow into it for sure. Yeah, he'll grow into it, but oh my gosh, it's absolutely beautiful on him. Oh. He loves this toy. Yeah, he's loving it, isn't he? Look at his little face, though. It's his little paws. His little jelly bean paws. Will you show everybody your jelly bean paws? <laughs> <They're> <laughs> <up>. something. <laughs> You're joking. Eight weeks old. <laughs> no, don't be like all the other men, Bo. Like the whole the whole way home was just adorable watching Alex with him. Like he just kept falling asleep in different positions, and Alex like at one point got him onto his chest wrapped in the blanket, and he just fell. Asleep. Oh my gosh, it was just amazing. Show his little paws. His little jelly beans. Look at your little jelly paws. <laughs> Oh, he's, he's so soft as well, isn't he? He's unbelievably soft. It's ridiculous. Yeah, never going to get a clipper cut. Always going to get him scissor yeah. cut, I think. Yeah, definitely. Thank you, better poppy coat. Yeah, apparently, yeah, Josie and Charlie both said that if you if you have them cut with scissors and not with um, clippers, it keeps the coat really beautiful. Oh, look at the end of his little tail. Oh, gosh. He's perfect. I'm actually, like, really, like, happily shocked that he's not acting up do you know mm -hmm. what i mean he's not really crying he's i mean he's eating already he's, yeah he's he just, loved he's that just food. fit right in hasn't he? he's just he has he seems really content at the seemed, moment just, just walking from the lounge to the kitchen he was a bit like hmm but now he's like back and forth he like, did it then that, didn't he yeah, we were totally like fine. come on and yeah. he just raced after us didn't he yeah. well i think he's gonna love it in our house mr wiener he's gonna be the man of the house now <laughs> <laughs> our little bow ah Dog bed. Shame that's gonna be comfy enough, I don't know. Yeah. We could all put blankets and things in it too. It's yeah. gonna be so comfy. That's absolutely beautiful, that bed. We're gonna love it. And to carry on the theme, the matching throw with bow on it. That is so gorgeous. Oh my gosh. I should put this in here for him. That is the coziest looking bed I've ever seen. Yeah, he's he is gonna be so cozy in there. We forgot we not put the top on the on this as well. So it couldn't come to the top that you put on it. This is the bougiest looking dog bed I've ever seen. And it looks so cozy. How unbelievably cozy does this look? Looks amazing, doesn't it? Doesn't it? I wanna get in there. So we've got this lovely like Sherpa kind of blanket. A mama's blanket there. And then it's just a little house. And then this matching is absolutely gorgeous. Wow. This is beautiful. He still does napping. Good morning, everybody. It's currently about 10 past seven. Um, our little Bo woke up about half past five and was just crying in his crate, bless him. It was just the most heartbreaking, heartbreaking noise. So Alex 
was like best daddy ever <laughs> and got up for him. Um, I just lay in bed feeling guilty the whole time, so I didn't get any more sleep. <laughs> but this little guy is so happy. We're, we're both just saying how like how mellow. I mean, at the moment he's biting away. He's in like a biting phase, like a chewing craze for this hour. Um, then he'll sleep. And then he'll have a little nap again. It's pretty much it at the minute, isn't it? It's just <laughs> chewing, napping, and then maybe have a pee. Yeah. Still not had a, a pee outside yet, though. We'll get there. Working on it. We'll get there. He's not even been here 24 hours yet. You're going to do it, aren't you, baby? Aren't you? Yeah. Apart from a little bit of crying, he seems to be, like, really, really straight away settled. Yeah, that's another thing. So, obviously, we've got, as you guys know, it's quite they're quite big, the different rooms, and I was a bit worried that you'd feel a little bit small in a big space but actually at first he was like oh like what these tiles and then now he's just bounding around well, he's not really running there's no running but it's all a little pottering yeah. he's just absolutely I, he's the most precious angel i've ever seen like i kind of look away and then i look back at him and i'm like oh my gosh look at you being the cutest little baby ever today hello yeah, he loves anything like laces or things he can just quickly get his teeth around. So this is great that my mum got. This thing is perfect. Yeah, I think he's going to love that today. And he also loves this little bear with these dangly legs, don't you? It does look like a piece of bacteria, doesn't it? Yeah, it does look like, <laughs> like COVID. There we go. Oh, and he's loving the, the blankets, which isn't a good thing. We don't want him to start chewing on the sofa either. But... <laughs> Where are you going? Where are you going? Keeps biting Alex's beard. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that was so cute when I came down earlier. What? And you were just you were just lying there all just scooped around him on the bed. <laughs> Bo No. <laughs> <laughs> Take the bacteria. <laughs> Take the bacteria. <laughs> so I'll go, I have to go into London. Hey baby. Hello, cutie pie. Hi. <laughs> I have to go into London. Um, she's really loving this new little bed, you know. Is she? Yeah, because it's right next to the radiator. Stop so... saying she. Oh my God, I keep calling her a she. <laughs> you love it, don't you, babe? It's next to this um, warm radiator, so it's just really nice. I thought I'd get her a little blanket. Hey, mind your little face. <laughs> <laughs> right, I have to go, babe. As he tries to attack, nothing. <laughs> I'll be back soon. I'm leaving this lovely... Cozy setting. It smells amazing in here. <laughs> but I do have just a few little errands to run. I'll bring my camera with me so you can uh, so you can see what I'm up to. I've got a few things I need to do today. And then we can have more puppy cuddles when we get back. <laughs> Hi guys, I'm just at drive by. I'm mid nails with Karina. Getting my beautiful nails all done again. I think I'm gonna go for the same thing as last time. The um, baby boomer. Yeah. Is that what it's called? Yeah. Oh, cute. I really, really like this style. So I'm gonna have that again. Alex has been sending me pictures all morning of Bo being adorable. Like one of them where he's like half in his bed and half on the floor like fast asleep. And Alex has been working in the lounge, like taking pictures and Bo's just sort of sat there watching him, so cute. So I've got myself a, uh, a Joe and the Juice. I went there first. And I've come straight to get my nails done, have my, my hands done, and then my toes. And then I'm gonna to knit to the coat store. Oh, and then I'm gonna to go to the Bulgari store as well. Hmm. I've not got over this wonderful light that comes through into my closet yet. Sorry, wardrobe. I know I've offended a few people who think I should have to say wardrobe instead of closet. I've just got used to calling it a closet. <laughs> Never mind, you all know what I mean. Um, yeah, just had a really nice, really nice afternoon. Just went and got my nails done, dry by. This is called, this is called the baby boomer nail. Don't know why, but it's just that like beautiful gradient nail so i'm all back to normal and i've gone for dark I'll, I'll show you my toes but i think it's a bit weird i've gone for dark dahlia on my sh on my toes and it's almost like a super dark almost black but more of a deep red purple super nice so i'm all back to normal anyway as i was out and about i went along to coach because i'm working with coach on a um a really cool collaboration you'll be seeing a reel from me really soon a reel a really really soon reel um where i want to show off their new hutton bag yes yeah, so i went along just to pick up a couple of hutton bags oh it's getting it's getting bright diffuser 
Yeah, so I just quickly went along to um, Coach to pick up the bag. So I got it for my reels and everything. Um, just quickly said hello to the team. But this is the new Coach Hutton bag. Such a beautiful shape. It's so like classic Coach from the side. This really um, simple silhouette from the side and then with the flap over the top. And then this one though, it's kind of got this little new update on the twist lock and opens up into the beautiful suede lining. And then, gorgeous strap, super thick, chunky strap, which is great for the moment, because I feel like big chunky straps are so, so in. So this is just such a great crossbody shape. You see on the chain, it's almost got like rivets in the chain. Really cool, really unique. And then to the inside, you've got a big pocket at the back, and then you've got a zip pocket in here. And then you've also got another front like, envelope pocket there. And then at the back as well, you've got a pocket here. This is the kind of thing that I would put my phone in probably if I if I knew it was safe and I could. It's the kind of place I'd probably put my phone. But it's such a great size as like an everyday bag, especially at the moment with us not going out so much. And if we are, it's more like errands or short trips and things like that. Um, it's the kind of thing, you kind of don't need your big bags at the moment. So this is just a really lovely size. I loved this color. This is my favorite one of the collection. This um, beautiful woven leather design in the light pink and then the burgundy. Such a beautiful, beautiful bag. But let me just show you a couple of others. This is so nice in the full white. And this is like a quilted, kind of like a lovely puffy, more grained leather. And then the rest is in more of a smooth, structured leather instead. And with these tags, you can always go into the store and you can have your name put on them, or you can have symbols ingrained into them. I've shown you that previously in the past. Like it, I'm just, I'm very proud to work with Coach because I worked with Coach a number of years ago on a really lovely campaign and this was still, and there's still some of my favourite images like ever that I did and it was in this really like unbelievably cool varsity jacket, super oversized, so cool, this amazing little skirt, yeah, still like so proud of that campaign. So yeah, so I'm just really, really excited to work with Coach again just to show you the Hutton bag, but also really really cool is that Jennifer Lopez currently is the face of Coach and their Hutton bag and she has like the J-Lo bag. It is absolutely beautiful. It kind of reminds me of this one. Really super similar colours in it but the J-Lo bag is absolutely gorgeous and I know it's just gonna fly. And then it does also come in black. It's beautiful smooth black. So classic and slick and then this one again like with this chain it's so nice i love a bag like this where it's just full black and then you've really got a beautiful gold chain to go with it so you can just have it as a little shoulder shoulder bag or stern. and you can make it into your crossbody instead then I have another two options. The reason being that because I'm working on this reel, I wanted a few different options so I could kind of do like a really cool reel with a number of the different coloured bags. This one is a red, how beautiful is that? This kind of patent leather, but if you look at it quite closely, almost has like a beautiful marbling effect. This is absolutely gorgeous. It's such a beautiful shine. Obviously this is in a deeper plate. Um, again, the turn lock. It's the exact same style, it's just nice that the bag comes in so many different colourways as well, so that's gorgeous. And then super duper classic coach patterning um, in the beautiful tan and beige. This is absolutely gorgeous, like if you love like the really authentic coach style, I feel like this kind of says it all. But then the Hutton bag is this lovely modern coach styling, so it's kind of nice to get the two in one. Those are just a few choices. I just wanted to kind of show you a few different options in case you're on the lookout for a gorgeous new bag. I mean, perfect if you're looking for a really fancy and really luxurious Christmas present. Such a beautiful shape. Yeah, so that's the Hutton bag. I'll leave obviously links down below so you can have a look. There's a lot of different colours. This comes in like a blue, in a blue, and these are like orange in here. It's such beautiful complementary colours. I'll leave a link down below if you want to go and have a little peek at that and keep an eye out as well because I'll be doing my reel 
really really soon with all these different bags to show you as well so this would be today's look with my coach hutton bag my usual jeans boots knit it's got my new edge of amber jewels on so nice actually wearing makeup but honestly i don't know why i've bothered today because all of this part just completely wiped off i've had to put on some more lipstick just so i could talk to you on camera because it was just off of my face at that point. I absolutely love this. In fact, this would look so nice with like the white one. Love the white with this outfit. Um, I've just double tucked the strap inside of the bag, which makes it slightly shorter as well, just as like a secondary option. Obviously, it's always nice to have a bit more length if you're wearing like a big coat and your bag has to go over a massive coat and you. It's always nice to have a bit of extra length, but just to show you how you can kind of double wrap it inside at the bag see so kind of keep that inside there and it'll just keep take a little bit of the length of the bag off as well a little tip there but then style it up with a really nice blazer and this matches so perfectly the black and the gold against the black and gold of the blazer is so nice so flattering yeah i feel like i'm ready to go out again now this is literally my kind of an outfit to a t isn't it like super high boots fitted jeans, crossbody bag, a blazer and a knit. Let me know guys which one you like the most down below in the comments, um, which colour you're loving the most. I'm very, very proud to work with Coach again on this campaign. So I hope you love it. Let me know what you think down below. It smells beautifully of firewood in this house right now. Alex is making some beautiful little scenes for some blog posts. That's right, we do still blog three times a week <laughs> <laughs> on inthefro.com. Make sure you go along, we're just doing a little feature on um, beautiful advent calendars right now. So Alex, whilst looking after Bo all He's day, has he been helping with the lighting? <laughs> Where is he? Oh, he just loves it in here with that fire on. So Alex is just doing a little setup here. Wow. That looks absolutely beautiful. So have a look soon guys on inthefro.com. Alex is just setting up all the pictures for me. Whilst I've been out for the day, he's just been working on uh, like blog post shots and things, which is super handy. Oh, this is how nice. It's, this is for like setups. I've been having them, um, but he's forgotten. Setting up like a Christmassy vibe. And my Christmas trees arrived today. So I'll be storing those away and then I'll be able to show you those, in fact. In fact, they're right there. They're very, very heavy. I bet. I'm hoping the quality is unbelievable of these bad boys for the price of them, but I know they're going to last me, I hope, a long, long, long time. I really do hope so. Oh. Hi, baby. Say hi to everybody. <laughs> he's the most precious little angel. Oh, we've got his pretty little collar on him. His collar came today. This is the one I mentioned that I'd ordered from Teddy Maximus. And this is in the sand colour. So it's got like sandy tones, it's got some blues and, and things. Um, it's a little big for him right now. We got the tiny size. So it's a little tiny bit too big. But he'll grow into it and it just means that we can start to try and take him outside. For any little potty training moments. He's just so precious, he just, all he does is have little wheeze, and then he sleeps, <laughs> and then, and then you eat a little bit, and then you play, and then you snooze again. He's just so snoozy. Hey little cutie. Hi. Hi. We're going have some playtime, haven't we? Have some playtime. As soon as I got back, he's pretty much just slept and slept and slept. Like I tried to get him up at one point. And I kind of like moved his body down and then he just went oh. <laughs> I was like, okay, I will leave you. Just, you see like the little wins you get all day though with him. Like the little bits where you, you kind of, you feel like he's getting it a little bit more. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, like earlier when he was... Like he's a bit more responsive and like he's definitely like, I mean, I don't know if he's knowing his name, but he's definitely responding to when you're calling him and stuff. Yeah, he is. Um... And you start seeing a little bit of his personality because he is quite shy, but he's quite playful and like most dogs, I'm guessing. But he just will fall asleep like that. I mean, he's dozing. He's probably falling asleep right now. Yeah. 
He's probably slept for ninety percent of the day. I think he is. You fall asleep again. I think he has to fall asleep again. Yeah. So it's a god. Like he's up for like forty-five minutes and then he sleeps for an hour and a half. Oh, baby. I think he did pretty good last night. Yeah, he did. He did do well for half five. Like that was good. When I say I went out into the back garden and I had swear to God I could see the Milky Way. It was that dark. Yeah, half five. Yeah, half five in the morning. Yeah. It just doesn't feel like four weeks ago that it was still daylight. I know it's weird, isn't it? Yeah. It's got so dark. He just suddenly got really snoozy. Oh. Good morning, little cutie. He's in manic play mode now. We just had a little walk around the garden. Yeah. And he's starting to get more used to the garden now. He's not so scared. Yeah, boring. Yeah, that first not night, boring. he was not liking it. No. I think maybe we're trying maybe too shouldn't, much. Shouldn't have maybe taken it out, but it's just so hard, like, because you, you read, you start reading online, and I'm sure that it's, I'm sure this is, for people who are watching this as well, everyone has their own tips and things that have worked for their dogs. And yeah. maybe they contrast with what other people have done. I mean, we were like, not going to use puppy pads, and now we're kind of using puppy pads, but we're still like, do we need to do it? Yeah. So I think we're just kind of finding our feet a little bit. But yeah, definitely. I'm just going to take him out more. I think every 40 minutes, I'm going to take him out for a little walk and just, I just need to get him to go to the toilet outside once so then I can praise him. Yeah, exactly. But I, it's so hard because the floor's wet so and he's so low to the floor and just such tiny little piddles yeah i know it's like i'm that... like hawkeye and him trying to be like just take a wee <laughs> i'm trying not to make it so exciting for him as well while we're mm. out there there's like leaves on the floor so i'm trying to get the leaves out of the way i'm just trying to make it boring and then he cries yeah it's i know like, i think i think we get him used to the garden and then hopefully he'll start just being more inquisitive in the garden then he'll get bored one minute and have a wee and That's then we can happened. finally praise him then yeah i hope so i think but he's so adorable. Last night was not a good night, unfortunately. We thought that getting up at 5.30 was somewhat good, but also, you know, still an early morning. But um, last night in comparison was pretty horrendous. Bless him. He mm. was, um, I think, I think, I think. We just enjoyed cuddles with him too much all Yeah, day. we had too many cuddles with him all day. And he was napping pretty much all, all day. So when it came to going to sleep, he wasn't tired, really. So, I'll get it. yeah, so unfortunately, we tried to put him in bed at like half nine because he was, he seemed like he was zonked, put him in his crate, locked him in and he was crying and then we kind of read online like, leave them, I know it's heartbreak because it's the most heartbreaking noise and I was just, I didn't know what to do, I couldn't think straight because all I was thinking is, oh my god, he's upset, I need to go get him, so it was just upsetting me, um, so I had to leave him crying and then he stopped and then an hour later he started again so all, pretty much all the way through the night we had spouts of like 15 minutes worth of him screaming like screaming though it wasn't just whining it was like full-on like little puppy barks all like so then i was just worried that he's gonna hurt his little throat by by screaming and i was worrying that he was getting too scared um <laughs> but but then you wake him up in the morning and he's like hello you know it's just obviously he's just so scared you must be scared if you're in a new place, but it'll be okay. It's so worth it in the morning when you wake up and you've got this gorgeous little thing. What has happened to your ear? <laughs> How beautiful is this little collar? He's so cute. Hi guys. This vlog is one hell of a vlog, right? I've just realised how much is actually in this vlog. There's a, there's a lot, so. Let me show you the collection in detail. The collection has just gone up for pre-order. We are still launching officially fully tomorrow, Friday, 16th of October at 3 p.m. UK time. However, we also decided for you guys as my video viewers that we would do a pre-order. So, for any of you guys watching this right now, you can order your favourite piece right now on the site. I suppose as soon as you've watched this bit and you've maybe seen a bit more about each of the pieces, then you're able to go over and buy away. So, of course, any further details about each piece will be on that page. For example, if you want to know the exact material of the piece you're buying, it will be on that specific that specific product page. Everything is recycled silver. We have a lot of pieces in vermeil 
and there are a number of the larger pieces that are gold plated as well. But like I said, have a little peek on each product page if you are worried about anything like this. If you also have any allergies towards different materials, have a peek on, again on the product page, but also Edge of Ember have a number of uh, like about pages when it comes to, well, about their sustainability, their factories, but also the materials that they use and any kind of skin sensitivities. So you may find the answer to your question in there, so have a peek there. Just a few specific questions that I got asked. I asked you guys to give ask me questions about the collection on my stories. And I just wanna kinda of answer a few here really, really quickly before I get into the collection. Just kinda of wanna make sure I've definitely said absolutely everything. Because each piece sold separately or on sets. Every single piece is separate. You don't have to buy them as stacks or sets. They're all completely separate. Depends what you wanna buy. Do you have sterling silver options as well? Yes, everything is recycled sterling silver. There are necklaces, bracelets, rings and earrings in this collection. There's a bit of everything. Can we purchase in the US? Yes, you can purchase anywhere in the world. I'm pretty sure everywhere in the world. This is like, this is a global brand. You can order from anywhere. Can you mix and match the metals? Yes. The amazing thing being that we worked on the colour of the metals so that they are so beautiful as a pair. So there are, there are certain golds that I find don't look quite the same when it comes to being matched with silver and we made sure that these were a beautiful pairing of both gold and silver together. So yes, please do feel free. I mean, like you can see here, I'm wearing the gold satin necklace with the silver satin necklace and it's beautiful. And where can you purchase it? The only place you can purchase this collection is on the Edge of Ember website. There's nowhere else you can purchase it, only on Edge of Ember's website and obviously links will be down below. And the only other question I got as well was about have you designed this? How involved were you in the actual process? What I'll try and do actually is likely on stories, I'll share some of like the mood boards and the initial drawings that I did and we did um, together. So Lynette who owns Edge of Ember is the founder, me and her worked together so closely on this collection. Pretty much it was kind of like world is your oyster. She was like, what would you want to wear as a jewelry collection? and I came up with things that I really wanted to add to my own collection of jewellery. Everything seemed to be working around this space. Cosmos, fallen stars, uh, shooting stars, moons, all the symbolism when it comes to space. And so I kind of went down that route. And as much as I know there are some absolutely beautiful collections out there that revolve around space and constellations, I kind of wanted to do it in my own unique way. So this whole collection, I have designed with Lynette. Lynette is the jewellery expert. She knows how to mock up sketches and make them actually work for, for wearing. I just had the ideas and I was like, okay, so I want this and I want this. So for example, these hoops, these are the halo hoops and they are the most wearable big hoop. Not, they're not massive, but they're just like almost like an inch, probably about an inch and a, ooh, an inch and a bit in between here. And they're unbelievably wearable. And that's what I wanted because I often found myself reaching in my jewellery collection for hoops of this kind of size. But I always thought, you know, there's still a hoop out there that I don't own yet that I would absolutely love and it would be a bit more kind of organic and something a bit more unique to it. What we ended up doing was revolving the collection around this crushed gold design. And we also then move that into the silvers and it's like a crushed metal. I almost see it as like moon rock. That's how I kind of perceive it. It almost feels so organic and it's beaten and it's battered and it's this really organic shape. And that's exactly what I wanted. I didn't want anything to be smooth and perfect. I wanted it to feel organic and a bit undone and a bit unpolished, that kind of feel. So we spent a bit of time working on the material and finally we kind of came up. I think Lynette sent me a sample of the Orion pendant with the crushed gold. Um, I went through a few samples and I was like, right, this is the one, this is the one, this is absolutely perfect. And that's the one we're stuck to. And it's just this really beautiful battered organic gold. You can really see it here. These are the huggy hoops. They're like a chunky, a chunky hoop. Get off my eyes, stop looking <laughs> at my eyes. A chunky hoop like this, but you can really see that beautiful crushed gold effect. And like you see, it's so organic. Beautiful. Again, such wearable everyday earrings. They are amazing. Um, anyway, so let me go back to these. So 
the hoops for example, I said to Lynette, right, I want this gorgeous round hoop from the side, I want them to look like the crescent moon. So we've got this gorgeous like tapering effect where it goes from a certain width and it kind of tapers towards the end, it's a little bit thinner. But then the actual fronts of them, when you see from the front, are a perfect kind of line. They are the most fantastic piece now in my collection. I pretty much wear these every single day. They are such a fantastic wearable hoop. I love them. So they are the halo hoops. Whilst I'm here on earrings, let's just start with the earrings. So those are halo hoops. These are the halo huggies, like I was just showing you. They're a beautiful, chunky hoop. And again, so unbelievably wearable. I'm pretty sure my mum said she wants to buy these because they're a bit more, she's not as much of a big hoop lady, but she loves, she thinks something like this would just be a bit different than her usual studs. As you can see, they're just so, they're so kind of delicate and dainty, whilst having this organic and chunkiness to them. But can you see just how, just how easily wearable they are? And they've, they've come out so perfectly. Like we've, with all of these, we've worked on size, width, thickness. Like we've gone back and forth and back and forth on making each and every piece perfect. Because for me, I'll, sometimes I love a little hoop and sometimes if I'm feeling a bit more sassy, I'll wear a larger hoop. So that's why I said to Lynette, I really want to have a larger hoop and a, and a smaller hoop. But I didn't want them to be thin hoops. I wanted these like chunky, chubby hoops. Um, so that's the second piece. Then we have the, ooh, the Orion ear cuff. It, ooh, wrong way around. One of my favourite pieces in the collection. Now, Orion is a main focal point of this collection. You guys may remember the vlog where I mentioned that I'm a huge adorer of the Orion's Belt constellation. I remember I said to the ladies at Edge of Ember, I went on a school trip when I must have been 10, must have been 10. I was in primary school, we went on a school trip to the Lake District to Coniston and we went on this midnight walk. All of us, we were all like holding hands so no one got lost and we had loads of teachers. And I remember my, my school teacher is called Mr. Flitcroft, um, such an amazing teacher. He, I remember him pointing up at Orion's belt and saying, that's Orion's belt up there and there's three stars in the sky. And he said, if you look, you can see his two shoulders and you can see his two feet. And I can remember this moment so vividly, because I remember at the time my hands were freezing and he gave me his gloves, so I had these massive man gloves on. <laughs> and I remember I was holding his hand as we were walking along. It was just such a wonderful teacher. But I remember this like it was yesterday. Oh God, I'm actually getting emotional about it. God, it's just, <laughs> oh God, I, have such, I just have such amazing memories of my primary school education. Anyway. Moving on from that wonderful memory. Ever since then, what I did, I got my mum to buy me some of those UV glow-in-the-dark stars. And what I did was put the constellation above my bed at home, probably from the age of 10, up until, do you know what? I think it was there until I actually left home, so I left at 18 uh, for uni. It was there the whole time. It was just on my ceiling that whole time. It was the full constellation. So, my point is, the Orion Spot constellation is that one that one constellation that anywhere I am in the world, I will look for it. If we've got a starry night, I will always be like, Orion's there. It, it was just something that has always stood out to me um, as a real like symbol. And so that was kind of a main primary focus of this collection. So for that reason, we have the Orion pendant, the Orion ring, the Orion cuff, and the Orion stud. So first one being the Orion ear cuff. The thing I love the most about this for any of you star nerds is that this top, so the top left shoulder as you look at it, that star is called Betelgeuse and it is, do you know what, I'm going to I'm gonna have to just quickly remind myself of the exact number. So Betelgeuse is the brightest star in Orion and marks the western shoulder of the constellation. It's one of the largest known stars, it's probably at least the size of the orbits of Mars or Jupiter around the sun. It's 700 times the size of the sun. Can you imagine how big that is? And I remember my, um, my primary school teacher, he literally said that to me and it blew my tiny mind apart, that's for sure. So I think that, again, that's why I was like so amazed by it. We've literally just suddenly lost light. It's just suddenly got really grey outside. I hope you can see me all right from my little mirror. So for that reason, when we were designing this one, I said to Lynette, this top left has to be big. So we put a pearl into here. So this has to be pronounced so that we can see Betelgeuse. Such a geeky little thing, but to me it really kind of, it's a big deal. Because we had a few iterations of this. 
where other little um, pieces were put in there and I went back to Lynette and was like no we have to have this cuff and the ring the Orion ring have to perfectly match constellation just for my own sanity the one thing about this cuff that is so incredible what you do is what I do is pull out your ear so that you've got the thinnest part is just here so you pull out just pull out your ear and it literally it's just it's just got an opening super simple opening see and you just put it over and in to this part of your ear and it just hooks there super comfortably on me that's not going to come off at all um, and the best thing about it is that it won't strangle your ear I have so many ear cuffs that I can't wear because they're so tight that they strangle the blood in my ear and I've had that a number of times and then I can't even get it off because my ear is so sore I can't even touch my ear. This is the most comfortable, I'm not even saying this, on my life this is the most comfortable ear cuff I have ever worn and I love it and the amount of compliments I've had off friends who are like, have you had your ear pierced three times? because people think I've literally had three piercings put in here. It just looks like three rings. It's such a unique piece and it's one of my absolute favorites. It's so wearable, so comfortable. Uh, like I said, that's not coming off my ear. Huge, huge fan of that. Then we have the Nebula Climber and this is a really dainty climbing piece. It's just a lovely little collection of stars. I like to wear this on my left ear so that the climber goes up the ear like this. And then all you have to do is just make, to make sure it stays perfectly in place, is just make the back, make sure that the back of the ear, the little butterfly, is just nice and tight against your lobe so that it's not going to allow your climber to spin. Keep it nice and tight and it will just sit there. So pretty. Excuse me, I'm being red, it's just because I've just touched it. But look how beautiful. And if you're someone who now has a piercing here or here or here, you can then start stacking. I don't because I'm too much of a wimp. So that is the Nebula Climber. Um, I'll tell you about the ne Nebula Ring in a second. Um, however, let's just finish on earrings for now. So the two final earrings are the Cluster Stud. These are just three beautiful little studs all together in a little cluster, super simple. You've got a little pearl, um, a little white topaz, and then just a little piece of like moon rock, just a round stud that's like, oh, it's crushed again, organically crushed. Um, but it's such a beautiful stud. You can buy these as separates if you're someone who likes to kind of build up a stack, or you can buy them in a pair if you want to, but it's so pretty and it's just so simple. But those three little shapes together are stunning but what i like to do is to stack this up with the orion stud so this is literally orion's bell all three in a line three in a row and the middle one is inside of a little kite so you can just see that kite shape so it, it's just to symbolize the three stars of orion's bell in a row I hope no one's squeamish to people putting earrings in. <laughs> this isn't the video for you. This would look lovely as well, just the other way around, so it's like the cluster in this and it builds up. Um, but to me, that is such a beautiful stack together. Beautiful. So those are the earrings. Right, let's move on to rings. Talking of Orion, this is the Orion ring and it's one of my most favourite pieces. Um, it's, it's the piece that I wanted the most when I was designing everything. It was a piece I said to Lynette, look, I really want to make a rhymes belt on a ring. And I remember drawing out ideas with Alex and I think I even I even put one together on Photoshop and I was like, I want this here and this here. Again, you can see Betelgeuse has been pulled out. Oh, on his top left, sh um, top left shoulder there. So that's Betelgeuse in Moonstone. I think that's in Moonstone. And then you've got the three white topaz studs three white topaz stones in the middle um and then the rest are just lovely like crushed gold pieces so it brings out its full constellation here it is just the most beautiful ring it's everything i always wanted i always wanted something orion i'll probably end up getting a tattoo of orion's belt's constellation on me at some point because it just means a lot it's so beautiful and three bands all then just connect at the back here like this. I wear this on my index finger. I mean, you could wear it on whatever ring finger that you prefer, but I just love big chunky rings. I think that's the thing. It's it's it feels like a chunky ring because it's bigger, but actually it's extremely dainty. So it's just a really lovely juxtaposition of styles, I suppose. 
I just think it is incredible. The other one that I feel is a bit of a sister to this is the Nebula Ring. Kind of similar vibe and then it has the three, the same way that Orion does, it has the three pieces going across it. This one though is completely straight, like three bands, well not completely straight, it's a bit more organic but they're pretty much all parallel. And then you've got the Nebula Climber that climbs up from the bottom to the top. So again, you've got like the pearl in there, the moonstone, the white topaz. It's, oh, it's just stunning. So I love wearing those. And like, to me, they're like little sis they're sisters, these two. I love wearing them as my, as my index rings. Then we just went for the classic band ring because this is the kind of ring I wear the most really. It's just big, big bands that are quite chunky. When I, again, when I was younger, maybe when I was about 11, my mum bought me this big chunky band like this and I had it for years and years and years. I think I just retired the ring in the end, but it just was something that I'll, I'll always keep it forever. So I wanted to almost create my own style of the chunky band, but with the organic crushed material. So that's what we did. So this is just the halo ring, just a full halo, but with the lovely, such beautiful details in this that you've just got a very simple, hope you can see just on the inside there, there is a little white topaz inside of a kite shape just on the inside. So it's that little bit of secret beauty, I guess. But this just looks either great as a single, single band, or you can start to stack. So for example, I quite like to stack it silver and gold together and create like a big chunky stack like that. Um, or you could just, you could also buy two in the same color and get a stack like that. I think it looks really, really cool as a big stack, but you can equally buy it super tiny and make it into a little pinky ring like this which again, I love. So they just, I just love the organic shapes of these. We do also have a pinky ring. Um, upsettedly, what's happened is that up to the very last minute, we've ch made some changes on the pinky ring and it's still in production. And so I don't have it here right now, but as of Thursday or Friday, um, it'll be ready. So I'm just gonna show you a picture of it. So this here, is the pinky ring and it's like a signet so i wanted to incorporate this very traditional kind of signet style so this top bit here is completely flat which means that you can engrave it so if you want to put your initial i think we can put up to two initials on here they'll just be a bit smaller but if you just want to have one initial your name husband's name your baby's name you can just have the one initial on here and it's so dainty and then either side of the pinky ring are this little white topaz i'm pretty sure little white topaz stones either side and then again it goes from a bit chunkier here to a bit a bit slimmer around the back i'm just so sorry i don't have it right here to show you but then the final ring to show you is the nova ring sorry these i shouldn't really show you as a two they are separates they come in both gold and silver and this is just a dainty, beautiful stacking ring. I just wanted a really slim band. Again, it's in the really organic shape. You can see just so dainty and so elegant. This looks beautiful if you buy, if you have two together and you can just kind of wear them as like a little mini stack of, you see there, the gold and the silver together. That is so beautiful. I mean, you could wear it alone. You could wear it as a thumb ring. I mean, also this won't fit me, but you could have it as a beautiful, really delicate thumb ring if you wanted to. You could even stack it up with the halo ring like this. So you've got the chunky halo ring and then the Nova ring on the top. This collection is such a mixture of very delicate styles with a bit more of a chunkiness about some of the pieces. And it just, it's just completely my style of jewellery to a T, like delicate but with that slight edge to it. So those are the rings. I'll quickly do bracelets and then I can also get on to necklaces. I realise that I'm going on non here but I just wanted to do it all in depth. So we have two different bracelet types. Um, the first one being the Saturn bracelet which matches the necklace entirely. The thing I love about these is that they're so easy to put on yourself. I only say that as someone who finds it very difficult to put on their own bracelet. See I'm in trouble now. I find it hard to put on my own bracelets so I always have to ask Alex but because you don't have to clasp this yourself because obviously it's just a little toggle fastening so you can just pull it through and do it yourself. So I can actually manage to put these on myself in the morning, especially when you've got big nails, it makes it difficult. So this is the Saturn bracelet. They're called Saturn because to me, this looks like the body of Saturn with the rings 
the shape of um, Saturn. So this is a bit more of a chunky style. I know that the chunky bracelets and necklaces right now are a huge trend. Again, we spent ages on the chains, looking at different chain samples, working out what we really wanted. And what's so nice is that every single chain in this collection is completely different from the other. So everything is completely unique, which is quite nice for when you want to stack. So obviously that comes in gold and it comes in silver. But what's so beautiful about it is that we didn't just do a normal easy toggle. We went further and made it a little bit more exciting. And we put a little kite, you might be able to see there, we put a kite on the front with a white topaz in front of it. And we've also put little tiny gems in each side of the toggle. We've just kind of gone out on all the details. I just want it to be really special and just not the generic. So yeah. And the second bracelet that we have is the Supernova. I named all the pieces myself, obviously based on cosmos and constellations, but we wanted to call it Supernova because to me, when a, well, when a star explodes and, it, and all the pieces shatter and it's a supernova, um, this kind of felt to me like these pieces that had exploded off. And that's the idea. And if you can see in that very central one there, We've added a little kite again with the stone on the inside. I'm pretty sure that's a white topaz stone there on the inside. <coughs> My throat is getting sore. I should have brought up a drink. So yeah, so the little bracelets have five of these kind of kite shapes. And then again, it's this beautiful organic crushed metal. This and the ch matching choker are quite unique in the collection because everything else is quite rounded, and but then this battered feel. And then these are a bit more sharp and angular, which I just love about them. Yeah, these just close with a little hook, the usual hook, and it just has a little Edge of Ember logo chain hanging off it as well. And again, that comes in the gold and the silver, and I like to just wear them together as a little duo pair. Right, so that is the two bracelets. Now let's move on to necklaces. Right, so the first necklace I'm wearing here in the silver is, this is the Zodiac necklace. Now this one is on this really beautiful, delicate chain that almost has these little balls that go along sporadically like a centimetre apart. This chain is completely unique in the collection. And then this is just a really beautiful, simple, organic circle with a kite to the centre with the white topaz. But we made the back completely smooth. And the idea with a few of these pieces one of the key themes of Edge of Ember as a brand is their personalization, customization or pieces. So for example, like the pinky ring I showed you, you can have your initial put on it. This is like a key piece of the DNA of Edge of Ember is making things personalized. So we made this completely flat on the back so that you can have your zodiac symbol engraved into the back. So that's why we call this a zodiac necklace. So if you want to, you could have your baby's zodiac, you could have yours, your husband's, your partner's, anyone's. Um, engraved into the back and it's completely free engraving as well so it's just that lovely element so if you want to get Christmas gifts birthday gifts it's just so super personal so that's the zodiac necklace then like I've shown you with the bracelets this is a Saturn necklace again comes in either silver or gold and I have it in both lengths here we do it in a 16 inch chain and a 14 inch chain Pretty sure I'm correct there. You'll see it on the website. But then the slightly longer chain, bit of an easier one if you're buying for someone else and you're not sure what length they probably want, maybe go for the larger one. Otherwise, you may find someone has it more as more of a choker, which I think looks actually amazing, but it just depends on what style you're after. Another extremely popular one that I think you guys are gonna love is the Orion Pendant. It's one of my most favorite pieces in this whole collection. And it's one of the pieces that we kind of settled on first. I have another piece from Edge of Ember that I've had for a while now called the Solar Necklace, I think. And it's like this, it's a similar kind of plate coin necklace. And I wanted to incorporate something similar in, but obviously within this collection, because I just adore that one so much. We came up with this piece because we wanted to incorporate some inlaid Mother of Pearl. So this is Mother of Pearl. And then over the top are three, is the Orion's belt. And to me, whenever I look at this, what I see is a scene of the ocean and the Mother of Pearl there kind of symbolizes the ocean. And then above the ocean in the sky, you've got Orion's belt shining away. That's exactly how I see it when I look at this. And it's just so, so special. I absolutely love this piece. But then again, on the back, we've made it completely flat. So if you wanna have your zodiac engraved into there, then you can. And again, makes it so personal. And a few members of my family are buying this for themselves or as Christmas gifts this year. And it's just such a wonderful piece for that with this engraving ability. It's, yeah, super duper special. But what you can add to that, which is another necklace, 
This is the gemstone necklace. The beautiful thing being that you can choose your exact birthstone. So if you want it to be for you, for example, mine is July, so I have the ruby on mine for July. But we have all of the, obviously all of the gemstones, so it depends what you want. Again, this chain is completely different. It's a very slinky, very flat, slinky chain. It's, I think it's more of kind of like that snake style flat chain. Again, an absolutely beautiful, super simple, minimal piece. I'm gonna take off these just so I can kind of show you. We made them all different lengths, again, so that you could wear them as stacks if you want to. So the longest is Orion. So this is the Orion pendant on the full, full amount. And I'm wearing it there with the Zodiac. And the Zodiac, I've got on, again, on the longest amount. So just let me shorten this. I might just put this on shortest length, just so we get a bit more variation in the lengths. And again, I love that silver and gold together. So that's Orion with the Zodiac. Then we have the gemstone, as you can see. So that would fall like this. So beautiful and minimal on its own. But if you want to, what I think is just gorgeous and the most beautiful present idea for Christmas, if I say so myself, but I, I know friends of mine who have seen this and gone, oh my God, that's what I want, is, so you can buy this as the necklace or you can buy these gemstones separately so you can add this on with your pendant so you can make it the beautiful little orion with your gemstone on it i love it it's absolutely beautiful and i've never seen anything else like it so unique um, and just such a special special kind of gift if you do want to do this for yourself or someone else and then final piece oh my god i think we're at the final piece is the supernova choker again we played around so much with the length of this chain what we're thinking actually of this so this is the length so it falls as a slightly wider choker you're not super choked on this up here it just follows it just falls on me just at the nape of the neck um, i've also shared some stories of fleur wearing this as well in the itf times ear um, highlight on my story she's wearing it as well so you can kind of see the length on her I love this length I think it's absolutely beautiful the way I wore it for the campaign was like this and it was tighter because we'd made a slightly tighter sample in the end we did decide to go for the slightly looser sample because again I have such a slim neck and also not everyone's gonna want to wear something so tight to the neck like this I love it but not everyone else will so we did go for this shape however if you guys love it as more of a tighter choker let me know because we are still thinking maybe we could put that into production and do a slightly shorter chain for anyone that did want to buy that like that but otherwise this is the length on me and again this comes in the silver and the gold as well now let me just check that i've shown you everything this is just like the little book on all of the collection i just want to definitely check of oh no I've, I've missed one <laughs> sorry one last one one last beautiful necklace that I actually haven't taken off all week apart from today. This is the Milky Way necklace. Again, the, the name being because the Milky Way is a sporadic like scattering of stars and this chain has this beautiful sporadic scattering of gems all over it. There's no kind of symmetry to this which is what I loved because obviously everything else is so symmetrical. This is completely just sporadic and organic which I love about it so there is one central point that has a kite with a little white topaz in there but otherwise everything else are these cute little stones that are sporadically splayed across the chain I've been wearing I haven't really taken this off all week I've just been wearing it and wearing it so comfortable great just with t-shirts such a simple piece if you're not someone who likes over the top jewelry but it's so pretty it's really feminine the Milky Way necklace. However, can we talk about this full stack now? How beautiful is this stack? This would look equally as beautiful. I don't have one right here, but this would look equally as beautiful with the silver supernova. Just you've got a full mix of both metals in here. So that is the whole collection. There are 18 different designs in this collection and the majority come in gold and silver. You can choose depending on what you love the most or if you want to mix up your metals a little bit. You also get like a little card in with your order and I've written a handwritten note on there. 
and your order will also come in one of these beautiful pearlescent boxes again we went through loads of different types of cards just to make sure we got this perfect like very beautiful spacey pearlescent and it's got in the fro times edge of ember on here but then the side it has this inlay in the dark night sky so it's like the stars in the sky and then inside on the dark super dark blue will be your order now the box is recyclable the foam insert obviously isn't um, just because edge of ember want to be able to protect your pieces properly otherwise this goes in the bin this can go in your recycling which is fabulous um, edge of ember are such a very forward-thinking and sustainable ethical brand and there's loads of info about how sustainable and ethical they are on their website um, and it's one of the reasons why I wanted to work with them because they work with ethical factories. All of the gemstones are found in an ethical factory in Jaipur, which I think is just wonderful. Everything to do with that, all the certificates and accreditation and their certificates of ethical standards. Again, it's all on the Edge of Ember website if you did want to read up more about it um, and get a bit more detail. However, I feel like I've spoken so much here. I have done like 40 minutes on this that um yeah all the information though is on the edge of ever website if you did want to have a look that is the whole collection guys it is now available for pre-order click the link down below you'll be able to go straight to where you're able to pre-order um everything right now i am over the moon i'm so proud of this collection i can't wait to see what you guys think i'm looking forward to seeing what pieces you love the most because i know i have my favorites but other people have their own favorites so i'm quite interested to see i just hope you absolutely love it so thank you i'm gonna i'm gonna have to end the vlog here guys because this has been one hell of a vlog it's probably gonna be over an hour and a bit now um but i just want to say thank you all so much pretty much for the support that you give me always it, if it wasn't for you guys i would not have this opportunity to create my own jewelry line it's beyond my wildest dreams and i'm so proud and just so grateful for your support if you've got this far in the video please leave me the little star emoji to represent the stars i love you all so much this community that we have when you leave me this emoji at the end of the video i'm like people do watch the end so trust me i appreciate those emojis so much so thank you so much leave me a little star enjoy the collection let me know send me pictures um use the hashtag itf times e of eoe so it's itf x e o e and all the pictures will be in there and obviously i'll be sharing my absolute favorites and all the pictures you guys share with me so thank you so much thank you to edge of ember and uh let's do this <laughs>